Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in the last video, we changed the headlights because they were cracked and crazed in the sun. So what we're gonna do this video is we're gonna put some protective film on those to stop that happening again. And we're gonna look at the black vinyl that's on the grill here um, and around the windows. The stuff around the grill started peeling back and the stuff on the windows is, is a cheap quality vinyl that goes a bit milky in the rain when it gets wet. So we'll take a look at those today. I'm going to take the bumper off um, and, and sort of get into how we do that. Um, but yeah, welcome back to the channel. Let's see what we can get done. So what I want to look at on the front here is you can see the vinyl has started peeling back. And also somebody has previous owner has nudged this against what looks like a post or something so I want to address this centre bar and uh, get that looking better with some black vinyl same's happened over here and the same's happened around here it started peeling back from the chrome I also want to wrap these canards black I think it'll tie it in nicely to the line of this black coming across here but also try and make this scoop area look a bit bigger like the SVR variants. If it doesn't come out any good, we can, uh, we can whip that vinyl back off again. I'm gonna do this still on the car. It's gonna be easier than manhandling the bumper when it's off the car. First thing I'm gonna do is give it a bit of a clay bar. Now that it's clayed, I'm going to give it a wipe off with a bit of IPO solution just to get rid of any contaminants that could be on it. So I've cut a bit of vinyl roughly to size. Let's see how we go. In true British form, the rain has stopped play, so we'll, um, we'll wait for it to stop and then we'll wrap the canard on the other side. I think it makes quite a good difference. Get them both done and see how it looks. If you know, you know. To wrap the headlights, I'm going to do them with the bumper off. I think it'll be a bit easier to, to get round under all of this. Should make life a bit easier when the bumper's off. And I also need to take the bumper off to get this bar out and to pop the grill out. You can see like the stone chips here. And as I said earlier, the wrap around the edges is going a bit funny. So I'll pop the bumper off be able to gain access to all of that and I'll do them when they're off the bumper. We finally got the bumper down. We need to disconnect the washer hose for the headlamp washers. And there's two plugs down here, a green one and a gray one. Get those off and see if we're finally there. than 11 bolts. <laughs> I know I unbolted the splitter, which wasn't necessary, 
but wow yeah that was more than 11 bolts for sure I'll, um, I'll get it somewhere safe so it's not a risk of rolling forwards and damaging the paint and then we'll have a look at the bottom and see where those bolts were So I've got the number plate bar off, I've got the grill surround out, that's over there next to the barbecue, we've got some rotisserie going at the moment. I don't believe I'm the first person to be in here, there's a, there's a number of reasons, um, the first being that, I don't know if that's standard out of the Jaguar factory, but that looks like it could have been involved, you know, sort of from a, from a breaker's yard of some sort or a parts dealer. And also the tabs, um, let me get the camera to focus on that, are a bit mullered in places, look at that. I know it looks incriminating but I promise it's not me. Um, so definitely somebody has been in here before prizing this around. Doesn't matter, you know, I'm, I'm here, I'm doing this, whoever's going to have the car after me, you know, might be having the same comments if they ever come in here. but. Um, I'm going to take the opportunity to give this a good clean as well while we're here. But for now, um, oh, hang on, one other thing. Please don't judge the state of my garden. Um, this was broken and just jangling around in the front of the car there. It's come from, there it is, there. So I'm going to get these glued back on, make sure that they're all happy. And so then we'll get to taking the vinyl off and rewrapping this. So that's the surround and the centre bar wrapped. Got the number plate bar mounted back on the centre bar. Let's go and get it put back on the bumper. So day two, we're going to do the headlights today. I'm going to start by giving them a bit of a clay bar. I've got myself a fresh sharp blade and some clear film. Let's see how we go. So I'm not a vinyl wrapper by trade. I don't pretend to be, and this is certainly an art form. This was really tricky. It doesn't have the air release technology in it that the other vinyl that I was using does. There's a lot of air bubbles and it's just really not going on nicely. I think I need to recognise my own limits and get this done by some professionals because it's just not, not good enough and going to let the look of the car down. So it's day two, we've got the bumper back around the front ready to go on the car. Just going to go around, make sure everything's tucked in where it should be. All of these bits of packing are in properly, there's no cables being snagged anywhere. Make sure we put all the bolts back in. 
there's a lot here, definitely more than 11. Um, but let's get the bumper back on the car and see how we go. So where I've had all the front bumper disconnected, um, things like the parking sensors, the crash sensors that do the airbags, just want to turn the car on and make sure we've got no warning lights. Ideal. So what I'm doing here is just nipping up all the bolts gently closing the bonnet, seeing how the panel gaps are aligned and just adjusting those so that they look as smart as before I took the bumper off. So we've been out for a drive. The bumper's still attached, which is a bonus. And I must say, the, the front end overhaul has really just smartened this up. It's made it look a lot cleaner. No stone chips in there now. I think it's just finished off the front end of the car quite nicely. As I said earlier, I sort of met the limits of my talent when it came to doing the headlights here. So I'm gonna pay to have those done in some proper PPF film by professionals who actually know what they're doing. Because the front bumper took so much longer than anticipated, I haven't got round to doing these. So sorry, I'm gonna have to do those in the next video. That bumper was a pain to get off. So I'll do these in the next video when I've got some more time to do these. I'm also gonna do the side skirts down here as well. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching guys. If you haven't already, give a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.